goblet squat. For the goblet squat, you could do this with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. It's called a goblet squat because if you do use a dumbbell, then you cradle the top end plate holding the dumbbell vertically. So it, it's almost like you're holding a goblet and you've got the stem and the upper basin where you typically have your drink, like so. But for today, we're gonna, we're gonna use the kettlebell. And for that purpose, we just grip the side handles, okay? So just holding the kettlebell in front of your chest, you squat down as deep as you can till your elbows get to about the tops of your thighs, stand up tall, and repeat. I'll just give you the front view here. Basic progression is just to go heavier. Also, if you want to, you can do the two second pause in the bottom or even a little bit of a pump at the bottom, whereby you go up and down a few inches. Primary benefits of the goblet squat is that we have a counterweight, which allows us to squat very deep without falling over, okay? So it's really good for strengthening the squat movement pattern, particularly the bottom of the squat where most people struggle. It's also gonna work your hips, your thighs, and because we're holding that counterweight, your core is very active in this version of the squat as well. Most common form error is that people will bend forward too much and almost turn this into a, a little bit of a hybrid deadlift movement. I'll show you what I mean. Main thing here is we want the shin angle to be similar to the spine angle. So you can see that they're both going at about a 45 degree angle here. We don't want to have the spine almost horizontal while the shins are angled like that at any point in the movement because then we're putting extra stress on the low back unintentionally. The other major form error is that people just don't go as deep as they can. So the primary benefit of this movement, once again, is that we're trying to strengthen the bottom of the squat. So we don't want to see any of these little mini squats just to make it easy. Once again, this is the variation where we really want to exploit the bottom range in the squat movement. 